the West had set a trap against the Islamic awakeness, which was taking its way just like waves. By reviving the false and the deviant cults in Islam in order to slow, if not possible, if not stop the Islamic awakeness, which I think it's taking its march towards the West. So they have to stop it. Rand Foundation, I think you've heard of Rand Foundation, they said those spots in the Middle East and elsewhere uh, which are hard to be controlled by us, which they may shackle us from taking advantage of their resources, it's good to create among them something which is called ideology, ideological fight. Fight of doctrines. So they said it. And it is being fulfilled. The Shah was doing good thing to the Americans. He was very good. He was obedient. He was not transgressor. Obedient boy. But why did they get rid of, the, get rid of him? Why did they say the Shia Amama is more appropriate than you? He was doing a fine job for them. Yeah, but uh, he can't stop the Islamic awakeness. He can't do that. Well, this madhab has a great deal of history. It was very destructive to the Muslim Ummah. And the Shia never fought for the benefit of the Ummah. Never, ever. They did not fight for the, for, for the benefit of the Ummah. The, the opposite is the truth. So uh, that's what happened and uh, we find today as a result a lot of cults and all of the cults you see today Ash'aris, Mu'tazilis, da, 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 every they are supported by Rafida. They're supported by them. Salah al-Din had to do something to stop the Shia uh, 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 confusing activity against the Ummah because he realized when the cross becomes intensive, strong, Shiism becomes strong as well. So he had to fight the Fatimi state. And as soon as he got rid of the Fatimi state, he was able to get rid of the Crusaders. It was easy. How this cult is very dangerous give you a small glimpse. Khomeini said in his book, you're not allowed to be a minister or to give any loyalty to any non-Muslim state. Even if, threatened, if they threatened you of death that you may be killed, don't accept to work with them. Except for one reason. If, being work, if working with them will be beneficial, and giving service to the to this religion, Islam, as what Nasir al-Din al-Tusi did, he served Islam by giving his loyalty, being loyal to Holako, the Tatarian, and he helped him in killing two. He did not say that. He helped, what, did, what did Nasir al-Din al-Tusi do? He helped Holako in invading Iraq and killing not less than two million Iraqis. That's not the first tragedy that that we encounter nowadays. That is the repetition of another tragedy that had taken place by the Shia who became, who was a minister for the last Abbasid Khalifa and he became afterwards a minister for Holako and he helped Holako in killing two million Muslims in Iraq. So Al Khomeini views this as a good service given to Islam. And afterwards he says, Islam will never forget the acknowledgement and the gratitude 
of the good service that Nasir al-Din al-Tusi had given to Islam. So, we will not wonder why this person was brought from France, taken care of until he came to Iran, 